Which middleweight sport tourer should you consider when you want to go fast, go that distance, but you're too much of a good boy to break the rules? We think it's the BSX Ninja 650. Let's find out why. Ever since the launch of the Kawasaki ER6N, the engine layout is the same, but it's got its fair share of improvements over the past years. The BSX Ninja 650 is based on the same platform as the 2017 Ninja 650, and on a closer look, you can make it out when you see the 15 liter fuel tank and the only visible similarity with the older model, the X tail light. But underneath, it's built on the same chassis. but with new fairings with the basic update kawasaki have taken the opportunity to give this bike the new traditional ninja family look so every bike from the zx 25 rr the ninja 400 and the zx 6r even the versus 1000 as a matter of fact share the similar look well high time the ninja 650 joined the party you now get brand new led headlights a completely redesigned side fairing and the most major update of all a brand new tft display up ahead The display is easily among the better ones in the market and gives all the required information like the speedometer, tachometer, distance to empty, average speed, gear indicator and the list goes on. You can also connect the bike to the Kawasaki Rideology app for call and music controls, but it's still on the development side, so uh, you can't well use it completely. So ergonomics wise this bike is quite comfortable it's quite spacious and well to make things better it has a quite low seat height at 790 mm uh, but one downside to this bike would be the low 130 mm ground clearance so if you're going above those big speed breakers you better watch out and suspension wise the bike is quite soft quite smooth in fact it's very comfortable it's supposed to be comfortable the only nitpick would be to adjust the preload you'll have to remove this entire side fairing to access it so which is a little bit pain in the ass but can the 650 uphold its ninja heritage and truly be the perfect blend between comfort and performance let's find out like the ninja 250 which had its own sweet time of over 13 years in the international market kawasaki is going with the same ideology with the ninja 650 if it ain't broke just make it better and that's what they have done the same old 649 cc parallel twin has got its fair share of improvements over the past years which has now made the 650 so much more usable on the road and the bike has even stronger mid range which makes it so usable The suspension is on the softer side. The seats are quite spacious and comfortable, and the bike holds its line with great stability. It does not have super sport quick performance in the handling department, but the bike is so user friendly that you can reach its potential really quickly. Otherwise, go on those mile munching rides on the highways, and you will definitely enjoy the ride and also reach quite quickly whether you like it or not. The best part about this engine is that it has a insanely strong mid range. So you want to go by your groceries, go to your office, do some work in the city or go run along with your friends on the weekends, go very fast. This bike does it all. Not many options in this segment have this usability as this bike has. Price at rupees 6.3 lakh at showroom. The Ninja 650 is a logical first middleweight bike upgrade for you. No matter what bike you were riding previously, let it be a 100 cc, 200 cc, or even a 300 cc, the Ninja 650 welcomes you into the big boys open heartedly. As I've said earlier, the engine is really smooth and refined, and in fact, all the power is usable and it's available in the mid range. That makes it so much more usable and ideal upgrade for you. And it's a bike where you can do your daily goes, go to your office, the weekend runs, or even tour along with it comfortably. and well above all of that you have the japanese reliability over there so 
it's a no brainer and it's again priced at 6.3 lakh rupee x showroom why i'd buy the bike because all the powers are available in the mid range it's so much more usable the tires need a little bit warming up but then they grip really well and the chassis is so much more compliant so unless you are looking for something purely for performance the ninja 650 is the ideal pick for you